Well, the renowned street artist Banksy, his work is controversial, his identity mysterious, his messages are rooted in social consciousness. His last exhibition, Dismaland, was a dystopian Disney or bemusement park, as he called it. It sold out in the UK within hours. Rather than selling off the artwork for millions to collectors, Banksy did something rather extraordinary. He had the wood cut up, the sculptures disassembled, and the raw material then shipped to France, where they were turned into makeshift shelters to help thousands of refugees living in squalor in the port city of Calais. So we wanted to know if the act was a marketing ploy or if Banksy really is an artist with a heart. But here's the thing, it's hard to get that scoop from the man himself. Banksy has never revealed his identity. Few people know who he is, but the man in this film is one of them. Pop artist Mr. Brainwash is the main subject in Banksy's Oscar-nominated documentary, Exit Through the Gift Shop. So I recently spoke to Mr. Brainwash about Banksy, about overcoming the stigma of street art and his artistic collaboration with Coca-Cola on the 100th birthday of their iconic contour bottle. To be in Times Square with Coca-Cola, to be part of taking over the Times Square Coca-Cola billboard, it's, it's history. It's something that uh, never happened before and, uh, and I feel blessed and honored. You are trying to bring positivity to the world. Your friend Banksy, with his work, is also providing a kind of social commentary on our times. His recent exhibition, Dismaland, you know, is very much part of that continuation of his work, really holding a mirror up and really pointing out some of the ugliness in life. Do you feel that, that in some ways, the work you're doing and the work that Banksy is doing is kind of moving uh, street art, is kind of moving it from like the shadowy underground to take public stands and really shine a light on important matters? Sometime in life, we gone. One moment in life that we should not regret that we didn't do anything because uh, if we do something about helping others we will live with a smile we will be happy that what we did in life you know that's what make life beautiful so mr brainwash you've explained what motivates you to do the kind of work that you do you know banksy very few people very very, very few people do you're one of the rare ones in his case why does he do the kind of work he's doing? Something like Dismaland. Why is he compelled to provide this kind of social commentary? You know, every artist, I guess, has a different way of uh, expressing, uh, expressing herself. And I feel like um, that's the way he is. There is some people who has a different dream, and uh, his dream uh, is to... Um, to follow what he loves, you know, to follow what he wants to do. You know, it's, um, I feel like he's a very clever uh, artist, uh, not like everybody else. He's, um, he's real. Have you ever talked to him about making himself known to the public? Will he ever do that? Uh, you know, uh, never say never, like we say, yeah. you never know. <laughs> You never know, but uh, it doesn't matter. Mr. Brainwash, street art is cool to some people. It's hip to others. Uh, but there are those who consider it to be criminal. Uh, how do you and others in this genre, how do you fight off those negative stereotypes? I mean, does it bother you? I'm, like I say, I'm not here to judge or to, to feel. I feel like uh, something, sometimes you want to yell, you want to tell people what you want to show them so it's like um, the street is the street it's just art it's not just a art. weapon it's not a weapon it's not something it's not a gun nobody will hurt you when you look at this exhibition and you look at the works you have on display in your view how have you changed as an artist over the years i think it doesn't change it's just it's like a, it's living it's real. It's something that I feel that people need. You know, I'm, uh, I'm very positive and I very believe that uh, life is beautiful for everyone. And I feel that everyone is a diamond. 
every one of us. We just need to learn how to polish it to make it shine.